Should Matt Williams be a little worried about his job security given the talent that he has on that roster and how they've been underperforming recently? In theory, yes. I mean, there's definitely a chance that if this goes the way it's been going the past couple of weeks that, uh, that he won't be the manager anymore. But obviously the manager uh, has, to, has to kind of have a day-to-day -day focus, figure out how to get these guys out of the rut that they're in. You know, part of the, the, the problem with them, I think, is the weight of expectations. Yeah. They're sort of crushing or, or getting crushed <laughs> under it at this yeah. point. Um, and, and the Mets, you know, they play free. They don't have any expectations, even if, yeah. they, even if the, the Nats catch it's them. You know, ever since, well, they were supposed to catch the yeah. Nats. So the, the Nats do need to, to, to free themselves up a little bit. I think they're, they're kind of starting to psych themselves out at this point. And, and if Matt Williams can, uh, can't help them shake it, they're going to be in big trouble. Yeah, Clayton, is there something Matt Williams needs to be doing better, or does he have to, it is in order to work, to, to not, to save his job, or is his job in jeopardy at all, do you think? I'm not a huge fan of the way he does yeah. a couple different things, tech, tactics-wise. I don't particularly love the way he uses his bullpen in terms of not using certain guys in certain places. I don't, I didn't really like the way the season started off with him getting tossed from a bunch of games with Bryce mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I don't particularly love that he's sort of a curmudgeon for curmudgeon's sake. Um, I think, that, I mean, that's, that's, I guess that's more as a fan than as somebody that's sort of trying to analyze the team. Mm -hmm. But I do think it has an effect on how people view whether or not he should be the leader of this team. And yeah, you should worry about it. I mean, they're not doing very well. I don't think it's, I'm not a big fire somebody guy yeah. because you don't necessarily have anybody in the wings. But all you have to do is look at the results to understand that this might not be the person to lead this team. You were talked about the expectations, Neil. Sometimes somebody's got to go. And I think this might be a situation where he ends up being the fall guy. Yeah, Neil, are you, are you on board, Clint, that Matt Williams is the fall guy here? Or is it something bigger than that? Or is it just the manager? Yeah, I don't know. If, Clint and I actually talked about this yesterday at yeah. lunch. I mean, I, I don't know if, if the manager is the problem. You look at the injuries on this team. He, it's not like he's playing people that shouldn't be played. He's playing people either that he has to play. Or there are some pitching issues, though, that have there's, come up. There's, in there's certainly some pitching uh, issues, but those aren't going to be, I think, what ultimately decides a manager's job, right? I mean, it's... They're, and, they're, and it's not like they're in last place of the NL East. Sure. They're, they're underperforming by quite a big deal. I'm not quite so sure a lot of it is on the managerial part of it, but w would it surprise me if he's fired? I mean, if they miss the playoffs, no, because this was a, a team that had a lot of expectations going in and, and failed to meet them, and it's the second year in a row. And, and so, no, I wouldn't be surprised. Do I think it's going to be the panacea? No, this team has a lot of problems, and it could actually get worse next year based on what the pitching staff might look like and what the roster might look like. You know, Williams probably it. gets judged on the way these last 55 games go because now he has most of the roster back. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there are certain things he can't account for. He couldn't account for Doug Fister pitching so poorly he ends up in the bullpen. Yeah. Um, you know, they've moved Drew, Drew Storen. They moved Tanner they got him. And they, they got him Papelbaum. They got it. Right. I mean, they've, right. He's got, he's got guys. And, and if they don't make a run here, then, you know, you, you say, well, maybe you fire the manager. To me, it's, better, though. it's been his team that's been hyping themselves up as that good. Yeah. He hasn't been a guy sure. that's been out there saying that we're the best team in baseball. That's been worth. That's right. been Harper. That's been other guys. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, 